we're going to create a breakout clone using Construct2, free software for creating HTML5s, downloadable at scria.com. I have started it up. I'm going to create a new project, store it in a single file. This sheet is a little bit bigger than I need, so I'm going to change the size. 704 to 480, project properties, change the window size to match, 704 by 480. Next, I'm going to go to layers, add a couple of layers. First one, called background, will hold all the background images. The second one, called main, that'll hold all the moving images. The third one, the graphical user interface, GUI for short, will hold all the textual information. Now I'll start inserting objects. First off, a tiled background's a nice thing to add. I'm going to take this, position it in the upper left hand corner, size it to match, 704 by 480, and move this to the background layer. Next, I'll lock the background layer so I don't accidentally select this when I click on it. The active layer is now set to main, so new objects I add will be added to the main layer. Insert a bunch of objects. First sprite, load image, and load the ball. So a new object, another sprite. This time, I will add a paddle. Insert a new object. I'll add a sprite. This one will be the wall. Finally, I want to add the bricks. Now the bricks, I've actually saved all the images in a single sprite sheet right here. Notice it's four across and three down. I'll double click. That doesn't look quite right, does it? So, down here, instead I'll import the sprite strip. This will break the image apart for me. Four across and three down. All right, this image right here, I just, I simply do not need it. If I go back to projects, objects, I'm going to edit these animations right here. I'll delete this frame. I didn't really want that picture there. Move that around. Now, this really isn't an animated thing, so I'm going to set the speed to zero, which will effectively stop it from animating, allowing me to use this as kind of an object which will hold single images, depending on the color brick that I want. I'll rename these objects. Ball. Paddle. Wall. And brick. All right. Next, notice the brick is 44 by 22. I want these to snap into a grid-like pattern. So view snap to grid. Go back, and I'll change the width to 44 and the height to 22. So now it'll snap into various locations. I'm going to take the wall, make that large enough to cover the left side. Now if you hold down control and click, you can actually drag another wall off. I'll move it right here. I'll drag one more wall. Change the angle to 90. Rotate it in place. Move it up here. Drag it a little bit larger. Next, I want to arrange a nice colorful pattern of bricks. Rather than change the animation frames one by one, I'll set up kind of a pseudo tile editor. I'll move this into the margin, hold down control, create a whole bunch of these, and what I'll do is I'll change the initial frame on each one. So I can have my orange bricks, my yellow bricks, green bricks, light blue, dark blue, Violet and gray. So now I can just click on one, control and drag it into place, or I could click on a whole bunch, control and drag it into place. For time purposes, I'll just make a bunch of copies of this. Grab all these. Great. Our field is set up. Next, we'll add some interactivity to this.